to our fellow cleaning professionals. We know our industry does not get a lot of respect. We're so glad you're here. We make this free content for you. We understand the challenges of the industry. If you've gotten value out of this, please subscribe. And for those business owners you know, team members you know, share this podcast with them. We're so grateful. And uh, let's get back to the doc. Joel, we're back. And I understand we are talking about cleaner restrooms through technology. Fill me in here. There's a lot going on. We all know that mm -hmm. dirty restrooms result in lost contracts. Sure. Dirty restrooms result in businesses not having repeat customers. Restaurants lose customers because of dirty restrooms. Mm -hmm. Restrooms are always high on everybody's list of wanting training, wanting understanding, and sometimes they get it, and sometimes they don't implement the things that they've learned about. So, I mean, other than doing a good job of training your frontline employee, how do we do that? I mean, what sort of technology are we talking about here? There's, there's several things. As a result of COVID, a lot of things have come along. There were things on the market that nobody used to use, but because of COVID, it changed a lot of things. Mm -hmm. In restrooms, a lot of them are being designed through architecturally being handled differently with just the construction so that there's no doors on restrooms. Now, sometimes you'll see like in a lot of airports, a staggered see, entry, staggered entry sure. so that you can't see in. So that's one way because now you don't have touch surfaces. Mm -hmm. People aren't touching doors or not kicking doors. So just thinking of when we look at a door and seeing those dirty hand marks on doors or on poles or where people's feet kick, now we don't have all those unsightly marks. So mm -hmm. already a perception is that that restroom's cleaner. Mm -hmm. But then we can get into no touch sinks, sinks that turn on automatically, no touch soap dispensers. It dispenses the, the soap into our hand, mm -hmm. usually with an air injected, so that again, we're not touching the dispenser sensors and they're not dripping. And it's foam. Oftentimes it's ready to be sudsed up. No flush toilets and urinals. In mm -hmm. some parts of the United States, there's even urinals that are waterless because they're such a drought and mm -hmm. they're, they, they're not hooked up to plumbing other than on the exit. So there's no water running. So there's all these technologies. There's a lot of antimicrobial type coatings that can go on to restroom latches and there's automatic toilet seat dispensers and things like that that are now being done as well. But one of the interesting things that is probably a newer technology and a lot of people aren't even been aware of there is now a hand dryer out there okay wait a minute now i understand joel and the air hand dryer is absolutely the no fly zone what is this hey sometimes you have to think outside the box but I, the dryer I'm, box the dryer box now i remember talking with you before and you were not a fan i am hand dryer not a fan of hand dryer no why is that there's a lot of white paper out there talking about how it blows the germs around and you know, there's a toilet sneeze concept that's out there that we'll talk about someday. They create a lot of problems. So there is a gentleman right here in Rochester, New York, that I have known for nearly 40 years. He's a former facilities manager. He also um, is an engineer by trade. Mm -hmm. And he has actually designed a hand dryer that has, one, a HEPA filter in it. Okay. Hallelujah, um, because on the intake, but even better... On the intake, when those turn on and you go to put your hands under them, it sucks the air in and it takes it through a UV core to kill everything that's airborne. And then it filters it so that it pulls out all the nasty particles on top of it. And then you're drying your hands with clean, refreshed air. They're not going to be on the whole time. It's not going to necessarily clean, but it's also not going to add to the germs in a room. It's going to decrease the okay. germs in a bathroom. Okay. And then there's other no-touch systems with hand, uh, with paper towel dispensers where you wave your hand under and it will give you a piece of toweling. Sure. So there's those rather than the cranks or the pushes or even the pulls. Sometimes that becomes unsightly. You, you're expected to pull one towel and like 50 fall out. And I mean, and I understand the hygienic approach to the towel, you know, break, you know, pulling it out, it's contained in there. So it has some level of protection. But this really sounds like a huge step forward. It is a huge step forward. And that's one of the things I love about what I do, and even in the industry that I work in, is that there are so many new concepts out there, new mm -hmm. technologies, new principles. And this one, looking at what I know, tells me that this is a very interesting device. And I'm excited to see it actually in working and in places because it is a step in the right direction because we know that UV is going to eliminate a lot of those indoor pathogens mm -hmm. that you can't clean out of the air with normal cleaning processes. Well, listen, if, uh, if Mike can change your mind around hand dryers, this has got to be interesting. Hey, Joel, you're welcome. Mm -hmm.